44. What is behavior-based interviewing? The most successful technique for adding dimension to superficial interview responses lies in employing a behavioral questioning format. Behavioral interviewing techniques attempt to relate a candidate's answers to specific, past experiences and focus on projecting potential performance from past actions. By relating a candidate's answers to specific past experiences, you'll develop much more reliable indicators of how the individual will most likely act in the future. Behavioral questions do not deny that people can learn from their mistakes and alter their behaviors. They do, however, assume that a person's future behavior will closely reflect past actions. Tell me more. Behavioral interview questions call for on-the-spot self-analysis. There are two main types of behavioral formats, self-appraisal and situational questions. Self-appraisal queries ask the candidate, what is it about you that makes you feel a certain way or want to do something? For example, what is it about you that makes you get totally involved in your work to a point where you lose track of the time? Similarly, the self-appraisal format may ask for a third-party validation of your actions. What would your supervisor say about that? Other examples of self-appraisal queries include On a scale of 1 to 10, 1 meaning that you're lenient and understanding, 10 meaning that you read demanding and critical, how do you see yourself as a supervisor? Why? If you had the choice of working in a marketing or a finance environment, which would you choose and why? In the future, how do you think you would handle an employee termination under those same circumstances? Situational queries, like self-appraisal queries, look for concrete experience as an indicator of future behavior. The standard behavioral interviewing query begins with the paradigm, tell me about a time when... Dot. Examples include... Describe the last time you assumed responsibility for a task that was clearly outside of your job description. Were you commended for your actions, or could you have possibly stepped on others' toes? Give me an example of a time when you had to make a critical decision in your boss's absence. What were some of the risks of making that call, and what would have happened had you chosen not to make any decision at all? Notice the specific linkage to concrete past experiences and situations. The beauty of this questioning methodology is that it can be applied to anything, a candidate's greatest strengths and weaknesses, his supervisory or sales styles, his communication skills, or his self-proclaimed work ethic. As a result, behavioral questions ensure spontaneity, since candidates can't prepare for them in advance. Rehearsed answers to traditional queries go by the wayside in this ad hoc interviewing environment where candidates tell stories about their real-life performance. And, because it ties responses to concrete past actions, this technique minimizes the candidate's inclination to exaggerate answers. Hence, you're assured of more accurate answers in the selection process, and you're provided with specific ammunition to use later down the line in the reference checking process. Of course, you can't prepare behavioral questions before an interview. It's not about specific questions, it's about a questioning format that gets candidates to discuss details related to their initial answers. Use their answers to your initial questions to formulate behavior-based questions. The further you remove a candidate from a first-year response, the more you get to actually know the person. Anytime you feel that the candidate's thought is incomplete, or you're otherwise left hanging, simply ask for an example. Used one or two times during an interview, this technique can help your meeting become much more conversational and informative.